In previous class, we discussed one theorem when two lines intersect each other at a point O, opposite, vertically opposite angles are equal to each other. So these two angles and these two angles are equal to each other. I hope you all are clear with this theorem. Today I will discuss another one. So here in this theorem, what they have given? If a line intersects two parallel lines here, we have given two parallel lines AB and C D. What they have given? A line intersect intersects AB and C D parallel lines. A B is parallel to C D. And this PQ line PQ intersects intersect AB line AB and CD at point R and S. AB and CD at point R and S. And then each pair of alternate interior angles, then each pair of alternate interior angles are equal. You have to prove each pair of alternate interior. These are interior angles. These angles are interior angles and alternate interior means opposite to each other. So this angle equals to this angle means what? What do we have to prove here? Angle A R S yes, means this angle. Angle A R S yes, equals to this angle. B S R. Angle B S R. Alternate interior means these two are interior angles and alternate to each other, opposite to each other. Angle A R S is equal to angle B S R. Like that only, again, angle B R S means this angle equals to angle B R S is equal to angle C R C S R. This angle is equal to this angle. So what they have given here, here, if a line intersects two parallel lines, here PQ is inter intersecting two parallel lines AB and CD, then each pair of alternate interior angles are equal. Therefore here AB is parallel to CD and this line PQ intersect AB at point R and CD at point S. And now we have to prove each pair of interior angles means here A R S is equal to D S R. Like that only B R S is equal to C S R. Because these are alternate interior angles. To prove this, what we can do? First I will write here angle this angle, angle A R S is equal to angle C S Q. Angle A R S is equal to angle C S Q. How these two angles are equal? Angle A R S is equal to angle C S Q. Yes, A R S is equal to C S Q. I am writing here this angle is equal to this angle. How these two angles are equal to each other? These are corresponding angles. These 
for corresponding angles. I will write it as 1. Here, A, R, S is equal to C, S, R because these two are corresponding angles. Now, can I write this angle C, S, R? Angle C, S, R equal to sorry, angle C, S, Q. Yes, angle C, S, Q is equal to angle DSR means this angle angle DSR here what I have written angle CSQ is equal to angle DSR means this angle and this angle how these are equal to each other in previous class we have discussed when two lines intersect each other Vertically opposite angles are equal to each other. So, these are vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles. Now, I will consider this as 2. So, here from 1 and 2, what I can write? here carefully angle ARS is equal to CSQ again this angle CSQ is equal to angle DRS so can I write here this angle ARS is equal to angle DSR how both these angles angle ARS is also equal to angle CSQ and angle DSR is also equal to angle CSQ only. Therefore, I have written here from 1 and 2 angle ARS is equal to angle DSR. So, first one is true here. Angle ARS, angle ARS, this angle is equal to angle DSR. This angle. To prove this, what I did? Simply angle ARS is equal to angle CSQ. Because these two angles are corresponding angles. Therefore, I have considered this as 1. Now, next step what I did? Angle CSQ, this angle is equal to angle DSR, means this angle, are equal to each other. Why? These are vertically opposite angles. I will consider this as 2. By observing these two, what I can write? These two are equal to angle CSQ only, therefore angle ARS is equal to angle DSR. Therefore, these two alternate interior angles are equal to each other. Now, directly we can write similarly second one, we can prove angle VRS is equal to angle CSR. We proved angle ARS is equal to angle DSR. Like this only we can prove angle VRS is equal to angle CSR. So, if you want to prove second one also, I will calculate, calculate it here. So, here what they have given? Angle VRS is equal to angle DSQ. How? Here also these are corresponding angles. Angle VRS is equal to angle DSQ. Okay? Because these are corresponding angles, I will consider it as 1. Like this only, here angle DSQ, this angle is equal to angle CSR, this angle is equal to this one. How? Angle DSQ is equal to angle CSR. 
How do you see the are equal to each other? Why? Vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles are equal to each other. So now, again from 1 and 2, by observing these two, what you can write? BRS and BRS is also equal to DSQ only. Again, this DSQ is equal to angle CSR. Now, we can write angle BRS is equal to angle CSQ. Sorry, CSR. Why? Angle BRS is equal to DSR. Like that only, angle CSR is also equal to angle DSQ only. So now we can write angle BRS equals to angle CS star and second one is also do now. Okay. What we did in this theorem? First I will consider corresponding angles. I will consider first corresponding angles and we will consider it as one and in the next step I will consider vertically opposite angles. I will consider it as 2 and from 1 and 2 we can prove alternate interior angles. These two alternate interior angles are equal to each other. Okay. So now I will discuss next theorem. So now in this theorem, what we have given? If a line intersects intersect two parallel lines, here PQ is intersecting two parallel lines AB and CD at point R and S. What they have given? AB is parallel to CD and this line PQ intersect AB and CD and R and S so now next line what they have given then each pair of interior angles each pair of these are interior angles these are interior angles each pair of interior angles on the same side of transversal means these two angles on the same same side of transversal transversal means these two angles and these two angles is supplementary. So then we have to prove what we have to prove here. Pair of interior angles on the same side means angle A R S yes. and angle C yes R are on the same side. These two angles, angle A R S yes, and angle C yes R are on the same side. Like this only here angle V R S yes, and angle D S yes, R are on the same side. So here pair of interior angles on the same side of transversal is supplementary. Supplementary means if you add these two angles, you will get 180 degree only. So here, if these two angles are supplementary, it should be equal to 180 degree. Therefore, we have to prove that angle ARS plus angle CSR is equal to 180 degree. Okay. First, to prove this, what I will write here? Angle ARS. Angle ARS equals to angle CSQ. Angle CSQ. Okay. How? Because angle ARS and angle CSQ are corresponding angles. These are corresponding angles. I will consider it as 1. Okay. 
So here a r s equals to c s q. In next step, what I can write here angle c s q. Angle C S Q plus angle C S R. Angle C S R is equal to how much? Here, this angle C S Q and C S R is equal to 180 degree. Why? These angles are on line P Q. Therefore, these are linear pairs. Because of the linear pair, angle C S Q is equal to angle C S Q plus angle C S R is equal to 180 degree. Now, from one, from this, what you can write? What we got here? Angle A R S is equal to angle C S Q. Okay. So here, in the place of angle C S Q. What I will write? What I will write? Angle A R S. Because angle C S Q is equal to angle A R S plus angle C S R is equal to how much? 180 degrees. Therefore, what we have to prove here? Angle A R S plus angle C S R is equal to 180 degrees. And it is true. If you want, you can check with other side of interior angles. Here, angle B R S. What we have to do? Angle like this only. We can do angle B R S is equal to angle. Sorry, angle B R S plus angle D S R. Is equal to how much? 180 degree. You have to prove this. So prove it for left part of the interior angles. So here you can also check with other part also B R S and D S R is equal to 180 degree. Like this only, I will calculate. How angle A R S is equal to angle C S Q means like this only I will write angle B R S angle B R S is equal to angle D S Q because these two are corresponding angles. Angle B R S is equal to angle D S Q. So here I will consider it as two. So in next step, what we can write here? Angle D S Q. Angle D S Q plus angle D S R is equal to how much? One eighty degree. How? These are linear pairs. Here, angle DSQ plus angle DSR is equal to 180 degree because of linear pair. So now, from two, what we can write? From two, what we can write? Here, DSQ plus DSR is equal to 180 degree. So what we got here? DSQ is equal to BRS. Here, the place of DSQ, what I will write? Angle BRS is equal to, sorry, plus angle DSR is equal to 180. This is also true. So, to prove this, what you did? First, in first step, what we have written? Corresponding angles. A R S is equal to C S Q. Okay. And next, in next step, what we have written? Angle C S Q plus angle C S R is equal to how much? 180 degree because of linear phase. If you add these two angles, these are on straight line P Q, we will get 
180 degree therefore cs2 plus csr is equal to 180 degree and from one what we can do from one the plate what we got here ARS is equal to CSQ. So here in the place of CSQ, I will write angle ARS. Therefore, angle ARS plus angle CSR is equal to 180. It means these two angles are supplementary. Like this only, I proved it for these two angles. Angle VRS and angle VSR. See here. Angle VRS plus angle VSR is equal to 180 degree and in first step what we have to do? Like this only, first I will write corresponding angles. Angle VRS plus angle, sorry, angle VRS equals to angle DSR. Here angle VRS is equal to DSQ. Angle VRS equal to DSQ means these two angles are corresponding angles, therefore these are equal to each other and I will consider it as 2 and now in next step I will write linear pairs here angle DSQ this angle plus angle DSR this angle these two angles are linear pairs because these are on the line P2 therefore DSQ plus DSR is equal to 180 degree because these are linear pairs from 2 what you can write here BRS is equal to DSQ means here in the place of angle DSQ I can write angle BRS plus angle DSR is equal to 180 degree hence this is also proof ok I hope you all are clear with these two theorems in next class I will continue with further problems Thank you all.